Welcome to Fat good friends um, here, Thaddeus Washington mm-hmm. from Thad's World yeah. <laughs> and Matt Killam from the Toledo Metro Parks. And yeah. we're going to hear a little bit from Thad, um, Thaddeus. Sorry. <laughs> do you go by Thad or do you Thad, prefer either or? Absolutely. Yeah. What were you called as a kid? Uh, bad Thad. Bad <laughs> Thad. <laughs> it was a live show. <laughs> well, thank you yeah. for grace. I knew we'd right. get something Absolutely. out of it. All right. There we go. All right. So tell us a little bit about you, though. Uh, Thad, um, bad Thad, Thaddeus. Yeah. So I'm a... Local artist here in Toledo, um, just really passionate about doing the work. And the work is really bringing about change, bringing about awareness um, for things, positive things. We got so much going on in our country and our world that is dividing people. And we live in a big world. And I believe that if every person just every day takes the time to do a self-awareness check and say, hey, mm-hmm. How can I bring about some change today? Even if it's the smallest thing is right. smiling at a stranger, mm. um, you know, that will be a lot closer to really changing our world and our culture. And I'm just trying to do my part. So that's me. And then also Matt Killam, um, the chief of Outreach, Outreach yep. at Metro, the Metro Parks Toledo. Thanks for being here. And also found out he's a comedian. Oh, yes. Yeah. Which I think I could have figured that out. Yeah, just, just by meeting him. I think minutes. it came just out. Just a couple minutes. Face. Just a couple, yeah. just by your face. It came out right away. I thought, this guy's funny. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's funny. Does your mom think you're funny? Oh, uh, my mom is really funny, actually. Oh, okay. So, so you get it from her. I love yeah, it. She's yeah. the funniest person I've ever met. Really? But that's so down. cool. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah, so yeah, cool. Yeah. You have brothers and sisters? I've got two sisters. Are they funny? They're the least funny people. <laughs> in the Good thing they're probably not listening. They're, probably yeah. not listening. they're out in the parking lot going through your dumpster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You guys are too funny. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, you both have collaborated. You're friends. You guys have yes. been friends for, what, a few years a little now? Bit. Or a little oh, bit. No, we met probably within this year. Yeah. Oh, this year uh, you just met. I mean, it's hard this to is know, a new friendship. It's hard to know when you meet, when the first time you met people in Toledo, right? For for good reasons, usually you run into the same faces with some mm-hmm. regularity. So um, it's probably with, certainly within this year or so. Absolutely. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. That's great. And then you're going to collaborate. And we kind of briefly touched on it. Thaddeus, you were talking about it. Mindful Meetup. Yeah. It's called Mindful Meetup. You come up with this idea. Yeah. Okay. So tell us about what to expect and why you're collaborating with the Metro Parks. Yeah. So ultimately, again, you know, I'm an artist and I um, I created this mind music for meditation and mindfulness. But aside from just myself, um, wanting to do something that's bigger than me and me and Matt were talking about it I wanted to do something for the community Mm -hmm. because I feel like we're all running a thousand miles an hour whether it be work kids school you know I mean just life Mm -hmm. and sometimes we need to be able to slow down and most people don't know how Mm -hmm. they don't know where to start so this is just an idea that you know I brought to Matt and we talked about and it just clicks and it's a place for community we always talk about what a thing is and i'll just be honest 
can't really tell you what it is or what it's going to be. It's what we make it. But okay. what it is not, it's not a uh, secret organization. Mm -hmm. You don't have to, you know, have some secret pass. It's not some private group. Mm -hmm. This is for everybody, yeah. young and old. And to come and just be around like-minded people who are looking to be mindful. And whether your thing be meditation or be taking a walk or playing a game of chess or just mm -hmm. meeting some new people. Sounds peaceful, Absolutely. Thaddeus. That's Honestly, it that sounds peaceful and simple. So Thad's idea and this concept really is fulfilling something in my in my box of things I need to, to push harder to support. So it was uh, it was fortuitous on my end, um, or lucky. I'm sure my dad is listening. Is going to tell me they just misused that word. Uh, um, but we, we, we want we're going to have a big kickoff here, uh, uh, November fifteenth, um, and then we're going to sort of watch it evolve. At the core of it is we'll get to in, in just a little bit with with Ed's uh, genius. Um, but the core of it is let's gather uh, and let people sort of choose their own adventure, their own path, but you'll know you're safe and welcome yeah. here. Where's it going to uh, be at? Uh, we're going to be having it at the Glass City Metro Park. Okay. Um, the ice skating ribbon will be open. So if you find ice skating to be a place of safety, I don't. Uh, <laughs> Me neither. You so you can stand with us. <laughs> I'm Ruby not graceful, yeah, so good. it ain't yeah. happening. The yeah. four of us will be, uh, the five of us will be standing <laughs> yeah. adjacent. Um, but we wanted to pick a place that will have a lot of bodies at it too. Um, so you, you can have some anonymity there if you want. Um, but you can also participate in things if you want uh, and see wh where where you fit. Um, and that was sort of the atmosphere we wanted to create. Yeah. Are you going to yeah, play some great. music? Yeah. So, yep. and like Matt just talked about at the core of it, and I'm so excited about this part, I'll definitely be doing some live guided meditation mm -hmm. stuff and mindfulness stuff, just some instrumental music with that. But I'm also working on an album right now mm -hmm. uh, with the Metro Parks that we're creating in the Metro Parks. Really? So, Last week, um, connected with the uh, lead biologist at Metro Parks, Tim, and he's a great guy. We went out to record the actual sounds in nature. So we got <gasps> wind sounds, there's water, there's birds, birds yeah. right there in the Metro Parks. And the album is actually being created at different Metro Parks locations. So I'm actually recording there. Um, That's cool. Tonight, we're going out to do some night recording. So we're going to get some night sounds. Ooh. But you'll be able to take this music and... The, you know, the goal is to be able to have different spots, whether there be QR mm -hmm. codes around every Metro Park where you can go and, you know, have mm -hmm. access to yeah. this music. But when, you know, you're not able to be at the Metro Parks, you can take the Metro Parks home with you. See, that's nice. wonderful. So, we out here. <coughs> See you here. What you got, player? Still look like. Stevie wanted to see every day. It's black. Not this boy, man. We out here record. About to do the little record. A little night nature sounds. We I'm in this. We in this boy for real. I mean, I'm hoping we catch some miles, but I'm wondering what else are we gonna hear that's gonna sound. We seen a car for a minute there. Man, but uh, uh, is that our boy? It's our boy right there. Mm -hmm. The only other car we seen. Our boy too. And I'll, I'll do some out calls from my phone and see if we can't call him in. Okay. Um, and if that doesn't work, like I'm happy to meet you out here. Yeah. Anytime yeah, next week cool. if you want to get more yeah, night sounds. Yeah, that's absolutely. See what we get tonight. So this is an eastern screech owl, screech owl sound. And they're real territorial. So if, if there's one out here and they hear this, they're going to come right in. Wow.
that was not for you. That was not something that made me. I, I have been in sessions before with musicians and not been able to cultivate something that fresh, that refreshing, you know what I mean? It's just organic, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. And it speaks to, again, you talk about your artistry and being a musician, that's, that's cool. Seriously. Yo, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Each, it's all kind of a variation on the theme um, based on the ages. Yeah. But every room, every group is going to have guidelines. So this is a set of things that the um, kids and the volunteers have said they need to have in place to feel safe and supported in wow. this place. And then they all sign it. Wow. So this is an agreement of what this space is going to look like. What it entails. Mm -hmm. what it means. Wow. And so these first two things um, you'll see on every single one of them. Sure. I pass, which means if a kid doesn't even want to say their name. They, they get to pass on it. Yeah. They're never pushed to participate in any way they don't feel comfortable. Wow. Um, what is said here stays here. And by that we mean we don't report back to their grown-ups what gets said here. Okay. The only time we wouldn't honor that it's is if... They're unsafe or... Right. If we thought they were going to hurt themselves or somebody else yeah. or somebody was hurting them. Well, I think it's very important, number one, like I told you before, you know, me having dealt with grief, I mm -hmm. think, you know, I don't think you ever get to a point to where you're an expert of it, but when you learn and you're able to get around people mm -hmm. and, you know, just be able to extract certain things and principles that help us mm -hmm. get through it, because you never know where it is, right? Right. Right now, everything's good. I can get a call leaving here now I lose a family member or something can happen in grief you can go from not ever yeah. experiencing grief to right there so yeah. I think everything that you guys do is amazing and I just want to do anything that I can to even bring more awareness to what it is you guys are doing oh absolutely absolutely so oh, we've had you on the show before we've heard some of your music and you working on a new project absolutely and what does it have to do with big brothers big sisters so i was once a former little um i was a part of big brothers big sisters when i was growing up and um i've been given the opportunity to come and give back they're doing a lot of amazing things they were very influential in my life and helping me make it through some hard times growing up and uh I just wanted to give back of my time and my art to help push along the vision of what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And how is it for you? I mean, you're just looking <laughs> over <laughs> right now, right? Uh, just to see his progress, to hear this song. How, how is that for you? Um, well, number one, it's uh, humbling. Number two, it, it shows the great work Big, big Brothers and Big Sisters have done. Uh, the impact it had on him now, the impact it had on others. And hence where, you know, how the program is designed now is to teach our future leaders on how to come back later on and impact the community. So this here is a living example of when it's done right, we can have positive outcomes. That's so great.